Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, it's been like a couple months since I did a video. Um, I didn't want to do another video to I really figure out what's the next step. So, like, as I said in my first video, I'm officially back in the, in the uh, trucking business. You know, um, no more second guessing and everything. You know, uh, I was having issues with like my personal life and financial wise. You know, that that's what really hurt me the most is financially, you know, and like the headache of getting my car fixed. I mean, getting my truck fixed and, you know, that taking long and this and that. Like it was it was all over the place. But like I'm officially back. Um, I'm going to get my truck fit up uh, just, just to let you all know, you know, like I said, I no longer have the 07 International. I now have the 2013 from the from the owner now I, I officially got that uh i'm still waiting on the title uh from the you know um from the state you know they take they i realized that uh it was the reason why i was waiting on the 2013 the, the title from the owner now i'm getting the same issue like it's been like a month since I got this truck and I still don't got my title yet. So um, I'm gonna have to give them a call soon. But um, yeah, I I got my truck. I put, yo, listen, these past, this past week has been, these, these past two weeks has been pissing me off because uh, when I dropped it at this location, I had it park at a nice location, but come to find out that no trucks was supposed to park there. And for like two weeks, I wasn't getting no tickets. So I was thinking like, all right, cool. Like, that's fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Until this week, I finally got a ticket and I was just like, okay, I know how to, I I know what to think because I was just like, all right, I, I parked this truck for like two or three weeks. And I'm just now getting a ticket. Maybe it's just an officer or whatever, like, giving me a ticket. And two days later, after getting my first ticket, I get another ticket because I ain't supposed to park there. And I was like, okay, some either P PBA, parking authority, or the police is is uh, targeting me. So I'm like, so I had to make a move and um, contact this guy that changed my battery last time from the 07. And, you know, I was just like, I think I need a jump, but it's a good chance I might need a new battery. So, you know, luckily when he checked it, it was the, the battery was four years old. And I, and I know that when your battery is like four or five years old in a commercial truck, it's always best to change it. So I got it changed. Uh, cost me seven. It cost me seven sixty to get it fixed because... <laughs> This the 07 truck take two batteries. This truck take three batteries. And the batteries was almost three three hundred dollars each. But luckily, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like two some I I don't know, but I was just like, yo, what the hell is going on? I ended up paying seven. I ended up paying seven sixty. So I did that. I parked it, I parked the uh truck where I'm located. You know what I'm saying? And I was going to, like, park, you know, uh, the plan was to park it where I live at and then park it to where I feel comfortable leaving it out there until it's time to, like, take it to the shop, which is next week, to get it uh, inspected and fixed so I could get started on my business. Tell me why the next day, because, like, mind you, uh, the day when I got the battery change and everything like it was like 70 degrees it was weird it was 70 degrees the day and then the next day it was like 20 degrees and when i cut my cut my truck on it it wasn't cut it wasn't cutting on like everything was running but it wasn't clinking it wasn't like it, it wasn't cutting on so ironically some guy that lived across the street was telling me like hey man was telling the guy was telling the guy because I like, I couldn't hear him. I thought he was talking to somebody else, but he had this guy to 
to, to flag me to be like, yo, he wants you. And I opened my win I, I opened down my window. He was like, hey, you need a, a starter. You need starter fluid for your filter and all that. So uh, after I got out the truck and I go near him and he tell me I need a starter fluid, I'm like, I'm kind of mad because I'm like, yo, I probably this probably the same issue when I when I uh when I parked it over there. I just paid seven hundred sixty dollars, and all I needed to do is pray a spray. That's like twelve to twenty dollars. So I'm like, oh man, well I'm just like, well at least I might. Like, I'm definitely not selling this truck now. I just paid seven sixty for these damn batteries. I'm definitely keeping this truck until like a year or two. So um, yeah, like. Uh, he he told me that I told a guy that did my battery. He was like, "Yeah, like it's probably because it's cold outside." I mean, he said it too. The guy that told me about the uh, starter fuel, he's like, "Yeah, it's cold outside. You need to sp spray the filter." Da da da. And I was just like, "All right, man, I'm gonna see." And plus, I might need new. Uh, I need new. Uh, I gotta get diesel. Fill it up half a tank. You know, cause like uh, when it's cold outside, it's better to get uh, half a tank of diesel in. So uh, I got that in mind. So I waited until three days because, like, you know, it was I I had a lot of stuff going on. So today, you know, I bought the cheapest one because it was uh, I saw ones that was like twenty dollars. I got the one for like three seventy or something like that, three fifty, three sixty or whatever. You know, I got it, sprayed the filter, sprayed the front filter, got in the car, that shit came right on. So uh, I'm happy about that. You know, uh, I thought I was about to be pissed off, stressed out, you know. So I got it running for like 20 minutes. You know, tomorrow I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put a half a gas, a, a diesel on, and then move it to where I want to park it at until it's time for me to... Uh, until it's time for me to, uh, uh, you know, take it to the shop. So I'm going to do that uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and um, go from there, man. Like like I said, I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm happy as shit. You know, I might do it, my next video. I'm going to show y'all what I did, you know, because for people who's, like, new to this business as me, they don't know. So let me do a video so y'all won't go to the headache that I did, just in case. Like, before you get a new battery, do this first. Then if that don't work, then get a new battery and shit like that. So I'm going to do that for y'all because uh, it's only like a couple videos like that, but ain't no new videos like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm about, to, uh, buy, uh, I'm about to go shopping and get something to eat and stuff like that so I can cook and... I I I do another I do another video tomorrow or whatever. Uh y'all take care.